Man, I want to talk about this replacement opponent that's filling in for Tony Harrison, who was uh, recently injured in the upcoming fight with Jamel Charlo, set for June 23rd. Uh, his name is Jorge Cota. And I've only seen this guy fight one time, and that was against uh, Erickson Lubin. Erickson Lubin uh, stretched this guy. Um, but um, this guy, um, you know, just wasn't his night. You know, um, he has suffered some losses um, in his career. He's got three losses, one coming to Lubin, um, and where he was stopped twice, and um, one went to a, um, a, uh, a split decision. Split decision loss in his last fight. So he's coming off of a loss. And, um, of course, we know Jamel's coming off a loss to Tony Harrison. But um, the interesting thing about this replacement opponent is a lot of similarities to Andy Ruiz. Being that um, they're both Mexican. Um, they're both replacement opponents um, on short day notice. And, um, you know, the only difference is, of course, um, Tony Harrison suffered an injury. Gerald Miller pop dirty for PEDs, but um, they both fought on the same day. Um, uh, Jorge Cota and Andy Ruiz fought April the 20th, and they're both getting an opportunity to uh, fight either a champion or a former champion, um, and Jermel Charlo is in a, a situation where um, he could have redemption, but that's on delay, you know, versus Tony Harrison, so Tony Harrison is holding on to that WBC strap. And um, he's got to take care of business against this guy, Jorge Cota. And um, this guy, in his uh, his record is 28, 28 wins, 3 losses, 25 KOs. And um, so that right there, all of his wins came by a knockout. So we clearly know that this guy can punch. And um, shout out to uh, Showbiz the Adult right here on YouTube. I saw one of his videos. He was the first person I seen to bring awareness to this. Um, that this guy is actually motivated to fight Jamel Charlo because um, he actually witnessed Andy Ruiz upset AJ, and um, this guy, and so he's he's feeling he's feeling like this is his time to get in there and um, create a huge upset for the Mexican fans, and um, I think that this could possibly be a dangerous fight for Jamel Charlo. Now I'm picking Jamel Charlo to uh, go in there and take care of business because. Uh, I don't think that, uh, you know, Jamel Charlo, or I, I don't think that this guy is on Jamel Charlo's level, but we don't know really where Jamel's head is at. He could still be bothered by the loss, you know, having his first loss. He might come in there too emotional looking to, to go for the KO, and he could get clipped. We just don't know. We really just don't know. You don't want to go in there um, too wild and um, aggressive with a guy who's very hungry. He ain't got nothing to lose. And he just, like I said, he just witnessed Andy Ruiz shock the world. And this kind of reminds me of uh, Madonna, even though Ar Madonna is Argentinian. Um, We've seen that how he saw Adrian Broner as like, you know, this is a name. And all I got to do is beat this guy and I'm the man. So um, he may be going in with the same mentality. Like, you know, Jamel Charlo, he's already a name. And, um, you know, I don't have anything to lose. You know, I don't have an undefeated record. So all I got to do is go in there, beat this guy, Jamel. And... Um, I'm a superstar in my in my country, so um, this is one to look out for, man. Um, I'm definitely, you know, you definitely say possible upset alert. Being that um, this could be a dangerous fight for Jamel. This guy is a huge puncher, 81% KO ratio. So if he clips Jamel with a good punch, um, it could definitely be um, it could be night night. Just never know, man. It could be night night. And um, it when I seen him fight against Lubin, um, he was very very cautious. He was on his back foot. And it looked like he was trying to, he was there to counter Lubin. But Lubin is a southpaw. So, you know, he may not have as much problems with Jamel as he had with Lubin. So we definitely got to see y'all. Let me know y'all thoughts about this um, situation, this replacement opponent. You know, it um, seems like these replacement opponents are very, very dangerous, especially active ones. So he's definitely coming off of a fight April 20th. So clearly he's been more active than Jamel. And um, he's, he's uh, actually motivated by seeing Andy Ruiz shock the world. So he's going to try to do the same thing for Mexico, man. So do y'all think he can pull it out? Or do y'all think that Jamel Charlo, is uh, he's um, just determination to get back at the top is just going to over overtake him and, um, you know, get the job done. But uh, that's really all I got for this one, man. I'm the Black Horseman. Big salute to the UGC and True Media. I'm out.